Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Next time Liz has to, you know, wind up and then let it rip, you know. <laughs> She's good at snow angels too, but you know, if she's not filing that report till 10 p.m., that means if she's still listening, Liz, maybe she can do a little lift ride or something. I've know. been trying to oh. get her to go skiing with me. It's going to be my mission this season. Yeah, okay. We can all, right. all go to Cochrane's, a little bit of a field <laughs> yeah, trip. That would be why fun. Not? <laughs> all right, uh, St. Albans right now, Taylor Park. We've got the snowy view, but not really falling from the sky right now. You can see the visibility is pretty good. It's a lot better than the Plattsburgh camera that we showed a little earlier. 32 degrees and falling off through the night, so it turns a little bit slippery and we'll have some snow in the air at least till about midnight tonight. We'll zoom in and show you that there's some snow there in southern St. Lawrence County into the Tri Lakes area. Pretty good band still from about South Hero up through Plattsburgh and then uh, the Danamora area. So that could easily cover things over and make things slippery. Addison County slowly dropping off in terms of snow intensity and then there's not much in Rutland. At least it's not really showing up on radar right now. So we'll pull out and show you that the back edge is just coming over Lake Ontario. We'll see some clearing in the sky for tomorrow afternoon. And clouds come back for Sunday with another round of snow Sunday night. So we're down to 25 in Saranac Lake. We'll say goodbye to the snow in the mid part of this night. Clouds linger for many tomorrow. Best chance for a little bit of sun, probably in eastern Vermont and southern Vermont. I think the clouds will hang tough in Malone and Messina. And then as we get to Sunday, the daytime is dry, but just after sunset, that's when the snow moves in on Sunday. And it's a real fast moving storm, if you want to call it that. 10 o'clock Sunday evening, everything should be snow covered. And then as soon as 3 or 4 Monday morning, way before the sun comes up, it's already moving out in the Champlain Valley, moving out of northern New York. So it just zips along and it doesn't put down a whole lot, but we'll say a dusting to 2 inches for Burlington, Plattsburgh, Malone and Messina. The baby blue band is two to four. That includes Lake Placid, Newport, St. J. And then the most out of this thing Sunday night should be four to eight inches from Bennington up through around the Lebanon area and then over into the White Mountains of New Hampshire. So cold tonight, teens and 20s. The snow comes to an end in the next few hours. And then only 20s with a little bit of afternoon sun tomorrow, mostly east of Lake Champlain. Close to 30 in St. J, same deal in Middlebury. And then in southern Vermont, a 26 at Stratton, if you're skiing there. Here's the five-day forecast. That snow after dark on Sunday evening, mostly gone by the time the sun comes up on Monday. Only exception to that, probably in the mountains, there'll be some snow left over on Monday. 33 the high in the valley, 37 Tuesday, and then potentially another round of snow there Wednesday, Thursday. And behind that one, it turns colder, so highs will only be in the 20s starting on Friday of next week. Brian Ellis. All right.